Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. Uh, this is a very, very important video and I would like all of you to download it and spread it around. And feel free, if you do not know, I allow people to download my videos. So feel free to download them and post them in any form you wish or you like. Uh, first of all, for those who maybe they never watch my videos before and I adopt that because I have thousands of videos. Uh, the purpose of our videos is to share with you information there's no way for you to know uh, without uh, someone else help uh, at least someone who speak Arabic or he have a strong knowledge in the cult it's called Islam so if you have any question if you like to contact me there's two links appear for you in the screen either Facebook or you can contact me in batterion.com slash Christian Prince uh, my books you can go to amazon.com and you can search for my books simply by just by typing Christian Prince and you will find a long list of uh, books which you can read and they are exist in many languages uh, like French uh, German uh, Swedish and soon we will have it in Dutch so feel free to read and, ex and explore and uh, trust me everything we say to you is proven by reference and we don't say things without a proof now the topic today is about the black stone and the secret of the black stone and we will tell you some about the Kaaba too so please listen carefully and enjoy with us learning the truth about the cult it's called Islam all of us we knew that the Muslims they celebrate Hajj once a year and this is happening right now as we speak the Muslims they go around the Kaaba and they uh, practice certain kind of rituals which is uh, like you will see people crying kissing the black stone uh, fighting over the black stone and supposedly they are imagining that this stone is coming from the space which Allah he sent however if you zoom in in the black stone you will find that this black stone is not really what people think uh, what I mean uh, uh, is going to show it, uh, uh, up to you in in coming video we will show it to you and we will go in a close-up uh, shot to the black stone the black stone look in the shape of a vagina because simply it was and used for a long time by the Arab as a vagina uh, and women they use to touch the black stone and even men uh, some reference says that the men they use to uh, uh, touch their penis in the black stone and this is supposedly will increase their sperm and their sex ability and the women they will uh, uh, get a breath net if they put their hands with their period touch their period and they place it in the black stone now the Kaaba were destroyed many many time and this is an additional additional proof that the, the when the Muslim they say uh, or the Quran says in chapter of the elephant that uh, the Kaaba is protected by Allah it's a lie because as you see even the Muslims making movies about how the Kaaba was destroyed and uh, uh, and demolished and burned and uh, uh, many horrible things happen uh, to the Kaaba for sure Muslims can't explain to us why supposedly Allah who considered this is his house he allowed the Kaaba to be burned and to be destroyed there is no answer and there's no explanation except it happened and nobody knows why now the burnt Kaaba is additional proof that the Quran is a false book for the Quran you know confirm that this Kaaba is his house he would defend it no matter who try to attack it and the funny the Muslim themselves they make videos about it and and movies now the black stone was destroyed after after the Kaaba was destroyed many times one of them destroyed by al Qumati and al Qumati he took the black stone as you see in the movie he attacked the Kaaba he took the black stone and some story they say he built another Kaaba and he put the black stone there to make money off it and uh, 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 some other story says no he took it and he used it as a bathroom stones for 21 to 22 years some they even say more and the Arab when they get it back they say the black stone was light not heavy the same when he took it why because they say that the black stone was happy to come back and the black stone was sad to leave now Muhammad he said that the black stone is the right hand of Allah and whoever kiss it or uh, hug it is the same as somebody he kissed the hand of Allah as you see in the movie here tons of people get killed and thousands 
get killed for the sake of this black stone. Now, this is not really enough for us to explore what is behind the black stone, so we will show you more videos. What people do not know, that the black stone always, there is a maintenance done to it, and the black stone is not one piece. And we will show you that in details. Now, simply the black stone is, uh, is about, uh, let us say, it's eight pieces and they are tiny, small, tiny and the small pieces connected together. Now, what happened to the black stone and why the black stone became so tiny and so small? That I think, I believe that most likely this has happened because of uh, uh, when Al Qurmati he took it and he, he, he broke it pieces. He, the, the black stone never come back the way it is. So he gave them leftover. And even some people, they say that he did not even uh, bring the black stone the same one. And the reason they say that, because as I told you, when he took the black stone, the black stone was heavy. When he sent the black stone, the black stone was very light, which there's no way to explain. You know, the Muslim explanation about the black stone being happy, it doesn't make sense. It's, uh, it's, it's funny and uh, foolish. So most likely he destroyed the original black stone and he sent them something left over or pieces of it. Now, if we go, and I will show you a picture uh, from the Muslims' uh, websites. Okay, let's see here. This is, uh, let me show you in the screen, hold on. This is the black stone. And in the side, what is exactly left of the black stone? So all this space here you see in the front of you, it's not really one stone you know this is when we look here we think that this is a whole one stone the fact it is just eight pieces and as you see they are small tiny and they glue them together to make a stone because all the Kaaba is based on this stone and without it this Kaaba is useless <clears throat> and as you see al Qumati himself he destroyed the Kaaba he took the black stone and the Muslim they some of them they say he tried to build his own Kaaba uh, maybe it might be it might be the case uh, so what those eight, eight, eight rocks then I mean did Allah send eight rocks or Allah he sent one stone based in the stories Allah supposedly he sent one stone not eight rocks but that's mean that somebody broke the stones and the Muslims cannot explain to us how those stones broke and I believe the only reason is that al Qurmati he destroyed it and he make it pieces and he this is what he gave them from what is left so now what is inside this rock then if the black stone is just those a few things I mean what what is that you know this this is look like a black stone one piece the fact no if we go and I will try to find you a video so we can zoom in and we can see together how the black stone inside look like so we can get an idea all right, I think I got the video. Uh, if we if we look at the black stone in uh, in close uh, close uh, uh, shot, let us see here. This is what is inside the black stone. So let us zoom out a little bit. All right, you see those little tiny stones. I don't know if you notice with me let us go a little bit back because the video is short so we have to do this do you see those little uh, rocks you see them all right so this is not a really it's not a stone it's fake. The rest is just the wax and other material and they make it from red. It looked like red, like blood. So what the Muslims are kissing and touching is not even, they are kissing this and, and I mean, this is nothing. This is, this is, uh, this is material they added. And actually uh, this, this, uh, this is stone to preserve it, to be stone as it is there. They have to do maintenance to it. You believe it? Because yeah, because it's not even a stone. It's just a leftover pieces, a small pieces connected together. So if we go to the front video, we will find how uh, uh, the, the Muslims, they, they do the, 
what it's called the maintenance for the black stone and without the maintenance the black stone will be not exist for even one day now if we go here uh, we will find the following all right in this video here is going to show us how they do the maintenance I'm trying just to zoom out for you so you can see better they they do the zoom they do the the maintenance for the black stone you know uh, and this is usually nobody see i mean they close the area so nobody can see as you see they are adding material and they are fixing and repairing the frame and inside the stone they are repairing it by adding wax adding amber adding uh, material which is mixed together to make it so solid and all of this is to preserve the black stone because the black stones will be co uh, coming out and even people they might steal them uh, imagine if one of those stones are missing that would be a big problem or even all of them uh, like you know imagine we have a mission impossible uh, team they go to the black stone and they steal the stones you know trying to uh, claim it that they are doing hajj as you see this is how they fix the black stone this is what the muslims are kissing and they think that this is a stone coming from god ask yourself muslims if this is a stone coming from god do you really need to do this i mean why god don't prepare it his stone his holy stone the hand of allah need be to be fixed the hand of allah need to be preserved by by a maintenance guy coming from pakistan this is the hand of allah i mean obviously there is something very wrong and very stupid in this story but what you can see this is the religion of islam and this is what the, the muslims do uh and by the way very few of the muslims ever heard of this you know i believe actually nobody maybe 99.99 percent they never heard uh, of this before and this is why actually uh, yesterday i made a video about the kaaba and today i made this video about this uh, repair of this stone and uh, just to show you what is the secret behind the black black stone which is nothing but the vagina which bad he used to make it uh, 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 his 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 way to fertilize women and men they used to put their penis inside it and actually some some islamic writers and uh, uh, scholars who they are let us say uh they decide to expose what the, the black stone which means they don't agree with the black stone they say that even the word hedge is not accurate to be hedge it is to, used to be hack hack which means you uh you touch something with something else you know so uh what what it is about that the person the man he go to the black stone and he do hack to his penis with the black stone which is the vagina and the woman she do the same but how to do it she touch her vagina with a with, with her hand when she have a period and then she place her hand inside this stone and then supposedly bal will make the man strong in sex and will make the women brighten it now this is a video just to inform you and to teach you about this i hope you learn something new Please don't forget to subscribe to our videos. And this is how you can find my videos. You see the link underneath. It says uh, uh, batterion.com uh, Christian Prince. You can go there and you can click on the website. And right away you will find uh, what is the last of my YouTube. Try, you know, Always click at the last updated YouTube because I broadcast in more than one channel. So click at the last updated, up to date uh, uh, YouTube. Like let's say today is August uh, 27. So if you go uh, there, you should find a video which is uh, happened this week. I have many videos. I do a broadcast every day at 4.30 p.m. except Saturday unless I say so. So every day at 4.30 you can join us by going to this website and you can find out what is my uh, YouTube. Uh, because I'm sure that this video will be uh, loaded all over by many people. And again, I have no problem with people downloading my videos and share them. And if you like, either in Patreon, that, uh, uh, that comes slash Christian Prince, or you can simply go to Facebook, and this is my official account, uh, facebook.com slash the Christian Prince. With this, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And we pray that the Muslim will see the truth, that they are following a pagan religion and pagan God, and there is no stone will help you Muslims. And as you see, your God himself could not make a maintenance to the stone, so he needed you to fix it.
Thank you very much.